We didn't have the HUD on last time because there were things that I was trying to not necessarily show. Hey, what's up, Z-Manic? Reed van de Berg, Keanemies, nice to have you. Meh, the gorilla. Good to have you here. Ghost Guild, I saw you. I got you. Deathly Ramen, uh, Mad Max, nice to see you. Wolf Raider, Ben Plant, Easy Money, Equal. Yeah, yeah. B25, Roman, nice to have you here. R Comfort 94. My name is Jeff, also Overlord, nice to see you. Uh, Lars Delver, Thane, super nice. If anybody could let Jeff know what's happening. Please. Jamie Toby. Uh, player at Vivicus. Okay. So, let me give you an understanding of what we're doing today. Because last time, I wanted... I felt like a couple of you guys were like, I don't know what we're doing, so let's be as clear as we can. Today's focus is going to be on some basic combat, on obtaining some Numenorean gear, on talking a bit to Torvin, our favorite little dwarf, and showing you guys all of this and this kind of experience that you will be going through whilst playing. So in order to do that, I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to cut and disappear back and forth a couple times because there's a few things I don't wish to show off yet. Uh, Yudinkura, don't know if I can pronounce your name, that I don't want to show you guys quite yet, and uh, a couple of them that I'm not supposed to show you yet. Uh, however, there are going to be some things that are going to happen naturally that uh, I'll be able to talk to that we'll answer stuff to. So I'll stop being sneaky about it. First of all, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a chance to see, admire the UI a bit. You'll c see off to the right, there's a bunch of uh, indicators. What, that's your, that's the right. Bunch of indicators. See that they have certain locations in the map. Some of them you'll recognize, like the story. Some of them you guys will recognize because they're also in Shadow of War proper. Go ahead and I'll give you guys um, uh, a chance to go and figure out what those particular indicators are. You'll also see that there's a left bumper that pops up and arrives on certain ledges and things when I'm walking around. Now, a lot of you have already uh, read into what that would be. And uh, today is not the day that we stream that particular use of it. Uh, that is the grapple hook, you are correct, for all you guys who had read up on like the Polygon articles and stuff about some of the new things. We won't be specifically showing them off today. Uh, that will be next week. Um, because this gets into what I would consider more high-level combat stuff because you can use this in very interesting ways uh, we're not going to do that we're going to be fighting in a flat area today yeah so there won't be a lot of this um and the reason why that's the case is because and this is a big one desolation of mordor is pretty different in how you have fought from mordor to war you're not a human magic being bob you're a human not magic being bob so let's talk about what makes you the not human magic being bob with that little toy that he has on his arm all right, I'm gonna give you guys a little intro to this and we'll show you and fight it later on, okay? First of all, shield. This can block, I'll show you that. This can also do some pretty damn cool stuff like charge. This is replacing the glaive that was being swung in that regard. We'll be fighting with this today. Second thing. Oh, I'm out of bolts. Well, it looks like I'm gonna show you guys this one a little bit early, just also, as a reminder, this is an earlier build, so anything that's happening in looks that are different, just giving you guys a heads up. I have to do this because I'm probably, this is this is on easy mode right now, but because it's a rogue-like kind of experience, you get hurt a lot. So, see those on the right next to the map? It's a little cross with three out of three. That is, um, oh, I don't have anything. Okay, we're gonna have to pick that up later. Um, those are healing drops. And uh, I just actually pulled up a, a weapons wheel, but we'll talk about that at a different time because we're going through some of the basic fighting, okay? So, giving you guys some of the little teasy teasies, and we'll get into that. Well, that is actually part of today. I want to also direct you guys into... Right here. So, let's talk about the Numenorean gear and how you find upgrades, okay? So this is something that your lovely friend Torvin will provide you while you're playing Desolation of Mordor. You look at this and you go, what, where is this? I gotta figure this out. So, if, uh, you know, well, let's look at what the map has. We can see that it has a tall dude standing in the background. It has, let's say, um, looks like a flag and, uh, you know, an item that I, I just, where do you think this could be? Uh, well... Oh, look at that. That looks pretty similar. This is a map that tells you where a certain upgrade is located in the world. So you have this treasure map that is looks like it's this area. So I jumped into photo mode, yes. And this is actually how I recommend you guys do this. 
is that you would uh, use photo mode. <coughs> photo mode? Grazie. Use photo mode to actually kind of align yourself to figure out where these things are. What's the upgrade for? Ah, mm, that's a fun question that we'll go explain in a second. Uh, but before I do, there's one more thing. So, when you look at the map, you can see that there is one piece on it on the left side that is increased, it is magnified. You look at that and you see there's a flag on it, and you can see it, maybe it's on the left side. Well, if uh, you guys want to listen in closely real quick, and I mean, go ahead and uh, put your ears to your screens and all that. Hmm. Oh, look at that. There's a blue thing right here. It is to the left of this. So you can see on the map where it would say... Oh, I see that it's by the flag and it's on the left side. There you go. It is that spot. Come out of photo mode and bam. There's our upgrade. So... <laughs> uh, ooh, Randomness Gaming is letting everybody know that it comes out December 78th, 7022. Um, you're close. You're a few thousand years off. It's actually May 8th this year. Just saying. Uh, so... Now, once again, though, and now I encourage you guys to lean closer because we're going to pick this up and you're going to hear a familiar voice while we do it. Yes, 3D Gaming will get it. In fact, it's also going to show you some stuff, okay? So... The Numenorians possessed wisdom far superior to any we have today. Shame that in the end it wasn't enough to save them. But it does fascinate me how they created a device to aid in climbing, and later upgraded it to knock loads of people down. If it were me, I'd have done it the other way around. This is what we mean by upgrades for um, your Numenorean gear. You can see here that this is an upgrade. You don't know what it does yet, um, which is part of the fun of it. But uh, it's barbed, and as um, Torvin said, yes, that was Torvin, as Torvin said, it seems to be something they use to knock people down. Well, what will that be? It's going to be something else that we're going to really quick, though. Or it could be broken and worthless. I suppose I'd have no way of knowing. I'm going to cover us again. This I'm using as my par parental little, like, oh, censorship thing. Because I'm trying to hide some stuff just for now. It's not that I don't want to show you guys yet. It's as I described earlier. This is huge. This game is going to be very different than how you guys have normally played. And Torvin is in the best location he could have chose. We're going to unlock this upgrade right now. And Torvin is going to be the one to help us upgrade. And he is actually taking the most... The most comforting, welcoming position that anyone <laughs> should ever... Use. Oh man. So we're gonna have him upgrade this. I am going to hide it again for a second. Um, not for long though, and you guys will still be able to hear what he has to say, okay? Uh, but I want to take this opportunity to show you guys his area real quick. Um, one of the things that is nice about a spot like this is he'll actually explain it, and uh, when you get to have the chance to meet Torvin. But it's a, a very high point that is very useful for running around and exploring the world. Solemn Throne, thank you, good man. You can also see, and I'm just going to give you guys a little peek. You can see a little bit more of some of the items and places you can go. There is the uh, far-off Marauder Fortress, which you guys recall last stream. We actually could see a peek of that from the Mercenaries Fortress. So very fun. And your mouthful, nice to have you here. Um, what I give for a good draft of mold beer. If the desert would cough up just one... Sorry, I just... I have to let you guys get a nice, good look at this guy. Just... Well, bam, yo. <laughs> oh, man. He's, uh... Right when we had this... One sec. Right when we animated uh, some of these, like, positions that Torvin walked into, um, we had a lot of fun with, uh... <laughs> a lot of fun with the pictures of that Aha. guy. Let's see what you have. Okay, I'm just doing this for now. So it's actually this would send you through the skill tree and the like, which we're just not showing today. Okay, that's the only reason why it's not here. It's not that I no, won't ever show you guys anything. Lad. Just this particular one. So he's given us the upgrade. 
Torvin is also from the main game, definitely, Ramen. And uh, he does it actually... Oh, man, he misses Talion. There are a couple lines that are a little bit heart-wrenching about that. Can we get a Torvin pinup poster? You can make it with photo mode. You see how sexy that guy is? His wood-cutting axe. A little bit of a callback to uh, the rest of um, our fighting in the other places. So... <laughs> No, we're going to take a look off in the distance, so we're going to move into combat now, okay? So, I'm going to, once again, do this little, little map thing. Can we play Torvin in this place? Uh, no, Torvin is not your playable character in this place. I'm going to mark a target that we're going to go for, and we're going to fast travel to a point, okay? So, we are in still, we're still in Lithlad when I'm doing this. There we go. So, which is, uh, this is actually here, a little bit of a teaser again. Uh, remember that you can get mercenaries in Desolation of Mordor. And I had sent one on a Nemesis mission, a camp raid. We're not doing that one right now, though. We're actually showing off the basics, okay? Nemesis and mercenaries and all that stuff will come in later. Why is the minimap green? Because we're in the area where um, our opponent would be. Um, okay. Just, I know I'm talking a lot at you guys right now, so I'm gonna take an opportunity to stop and take questions. So this is the spot that uh, the, our monster opponent should be. I'm going to try to draw him out a bit. Crossbow, yep, we got stuff as the higher Torvin as a mercenary. So, the reason I'm bringing this up specifically, uh, I'm looking for que at questions for a moment, and um, I'll be answering some of those. Some things are going to happen uh, in this that I possibly can't talk to yet, but they happen and it's a fight and I might not have control. That's why I'm just bringing it up, okay? This is a warning. Alright. Uh, no Wraith World. That does not exist. You do not have the capability of entering a Wraith World. So, we're going to start basic. We're going to take out a couple of these guys. And then we're going to move up from that point. Okay? So, first of all, the game's walking us through the shield charge. Let's talk about shielding in the first place. Shielding works as a block. You don't take damage from it. This actually changes a surprising amount of uh, experience. Because now some certain opponents that originally you like thought you couldn't necessarily fight back as much, you have this with. You also have a sweet move that it couples with, which is the shield charge. Oh, we already have it. Okay, um, let me show you how healing works because we have a level 38 captain that's a sniper. Your health goes down, you pick up a health kit, you heal yourself. We're also going to go over steel bolts and some of, the, some of the bombs. But first, we have to go and avoid the sniper from killing us. If he puts the sniper shot on us again, though, I'll actually pull up the shield and we'll try to block it. I think it can block. Yes, it's a shield rush. Okay. So, this is actually a perfect time to show off the ability we picked up. This is a cyclone. It wields, and it slices people in half, uh, as it wields, <laughs> that one is still moving. As it, I gotta stop, I gotta stop, because it's like, I can't explain it as well. It wields the wire around you, and it slices through people. So, um, it's pretty damn good. It's a lot of fun. Now, you'll also see there's an icon that popped up. Let me roll right through that. That has given me four steel bolts back, which I can select here and using the crossbow, which is, uh, you can see he just did the shot. So it's like a full powered shot with the elf wraith bow, um, but it will instead just fire immediately from your arm. You still have a focus, has a lot of power. You can upgrade as you're playing through the game. Um, we will talk a little bit more about what I just picked up in the top right corner in a second. Oh no. Kill this guy real quick. Knock through. So the shield charge is actually one of the best abilities that I've had a chance to play with. Uh, highly recommend it. It's really fun. And uh, it's really good because that shield allows you to take a shot from the front first. Which now is actually we're going to try with the sniper. See if we can do this. I want to see if he does the sniper shot.
It's probably not to show his death yet. Oh gosh. That's why it's on easy. And it's like, that was actually the thing when I realized, um, hold on, as we kill that guy. <laughs> nice face. Um, so I wanted to show off, this is, these are the effects of our, what's known as the cyclone ability. And it allows you to knock guys and slice through them with the wire, which is pretty fun. Uh, but that was the reason why I had uh, to show you guys the healing, is because I realized that sniper guys, like that guy, will take more than three-fourths of your health. So I needed to be able to show you guys that, or I would risk showing you guys the, re the rest of all the death that could occur. Ah, we picked up a healing elixir. And you can also pick up extra things from guys like this, but we're not going to do it yet. Um, the reason why I don't want to do it yet is because sometimes you'll pick up things known as augments, which I don't want to introduce to you yet until we fight this captain. Um, can you parry with the shield? No. You have a shield out. Actually, you know what? Hold on. I say that so confidently, but first of all, let's do this. <laughs> uh, shield slam is one of the best things to use against uh, Karagors. It's hilarious. Do humans cheat death? Humans do everything that uh, people do in the Nemesis system. But we won't go into super detail on that yet. I love the fact that you can cut people in half with the Cyclone. It's one of my favorite things about it. I mean, there's a lot of use to being able to clear off enemies, but it's not as, <laughs> as much fun as just charging through people like so. So, one thing to take note is that, if you guys notice, I haven't re yet received a lot of my bolts back yet. And the reason why that is, is, oh, I didn't mean to pause like that quite yet. You know what, whatever. It's, I paused and reopened, it's fine. Um, because when you're putting up the shield, like so, and uh, you're fighting, you don't have a lot of... There's not like elf shot stuck around the world. You have to be a bit of a guerrilla fighter to pick those things up. Am I going to show death today? No. Death is... I mean, I really hope I don't. Today is just showing you guys the shield, slashing through people. We'll fight the captain in a moment. Oh, I need to show you guys executions, though. He has new executions. <laughs> they're different than Eltarials, and they're different than Talions as well. Also, who doesn't love just smashing through Karagors? <laughs> Sending them flying. It's hilarious. All right, good, we got another health pickup. Stun, run up in the air and smash people with a shield. Good fun. Gotta use bolts to get bolts. A lot of bolts are dropped by uh, archers, actually. And hold on, let's get this guy off the um, Karagor, because one of you asked if you could do... Boop. One of you asked if you could counter when you have the shield out, and I'm really curious about that too. Uh, no. Hold on, let me turn around. Nope. Shields out, you can't counter. Which is uh, an understandable thing, honestly, because if you're like this, you're holding a button down, and so it's going to be hard to switch. So I think gameplay decision-wise, that actually made a lot of sense. Alright. So, you kept seeing every once in a while that, uh, what tribe is this? This <laughs> is Baranor is the Baranor tribe. Will you do a follower mission? No, not today. Uh, we will do it in probably two weeks. So, let me just go th scan through the questions. You can't ride Karagors, Kevin Romero. You're correct. Karagors are not for this guy. He cannot dominate any of them. Um, let's uh, build this up again real quick. And then so I can show off cutting people in half again. Let's see, that time we actually... Oh, we cut off... <laughs> oh, that was awesome. New kills and the like. What is Baranor's equivalent of Elven Rage? You know, that is something relate that actually isn't crazy. Um, he does have one. It's like actually related to the uh, followers that you guys will be getting. So we'll talk more about that later. Can Torvin be a bodyguard? No. Is there a double jump? Well, we'll talk more about it next week, actually. Next week will be a pretty interesting way to show off what the double jump equivalent is now. And maybe he is for Karagor's Asagonics. Yes, he will be food for them. So... Taking this opportunity again, we're going to go after Garl. I want to show you guys something too. You can still gain intel. Not going to talk about yet how to do it, but you can do it. 
Uh, rat bag the cannibal was asked. Uh, I believe that's in the FAQ. So go ahead and check our forums for more information on that. Oh, he's shooting us at, again. Let me put this up so we can block the shot, maybe. Bribes? No, I don't have any. I won't accept bribes. What's his range? He uses a crossbow that I showed you guys a couple times. But also, if you guys notice, I didn't get any of the new bolts. Bolts are really uh, rare. I'm not entirely true. You can get them from archers. But the point is is that you're not going to just be gaining things quite the same way as you did in uh, Shadow of War, where I can't just run off and find some necessarily. You're kind of a, you know, that guerrilla fighter who's picking up icons from opponents. How to dominate orcs without shaming them? Um, if you're talking about from this game, you, there is no domination effect. Uh, this new game comes out of uh, Berry Juice, May 8th. Can you siege with humans? Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about that later. I, uh, any other new characters? Yes, there are some new characters that you guys will meet. They are very cool and fun. You cannot tame a uh, beast like Talion. You can jump off of stuff, but we will talk about and show more of that next time. Um, so, <laughs> now, let's see. I'm looking at the time. Any chance we'll get a trailer soon? Um, possibly, yeah. Is there fall damage? Ask Rick Jarvis. No, you will not have fall damage. There is a way around it. So people want me to get closer. So we're going to go fight this guy. But before I do so, does anybody have any questions? Can you name one tra trait humans have? I'm going to... Yeah, you know what? I can. They have, uh, they'll have they have similar abilities like fire, poison, and the like, too. Um, but they also have... Uh, you saw last time they had a bow. Not a crossbow, but a bow. So uh, they'll be using those instead of crossbows. Idril? Uh, we actually talked about that last stream. We'll talk more about... Er, so go ahead and watch the last stream if you want to learn more what happened with Idril in that regard. Captain America roll. There you go. Let's see. Thank you, Lego Build 08. Now... Oh, look, there's 666 of you. You guys are the Emperor Nero's number. Torvin, the main voice for a DLC. Torvin's in the voice. It is in here, yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm checking for... Do I have a fave character in here? Is Torvin home? We showed that. He is actually back at the home still. It's somewhere out in that direction. Alright. How do you come back when you die? We'll talk more about that in a couple weeks, but remember, that is... Uh, you don't. That's actually the part of it. Which is why I get really upset when that happens. Alright, hold on. Make the shot. Okay, you cannot block a Karagor jumping on your face. You sound like a fail boat? Well, well thank you, you jerk. <laughs> I want to make sure that I'm able to show stuff off in a way that gives honor to the wonderful work that those at Monolith did, and still doesn't show too much yet because I was asked to follow Ouch. A specific order of demonstration. Can your health slowly regenerate? It depends. Rick Jarvis, but not from start, no. We'll actually talk a little bit more about that, too. So, I'm gonna kill these guys again real quick, because it's hilarious when you knock people off with the shield. We got some bolts, which is a fantastic use. I need to pick up, um, that heal over there, too. Show off more of these. Oh, we're getting some bolts from doing this. This is really nice. Really hoping we'd maybe pick up some concussion, uh, but we'll talk about that at another time. Ah! Smash. I'm gonna pick up the heal again, and uh, I'm gonna go fight that captain, okay? Because I don't want to be in a position where I can't heal. Alright. Hey, oh, Cappy. I will see your lovely face twist with such excitement. Can you let campfire explode? Yes, you can. Can we play on this map as Italian? I'll tell you about that more later. Um, day night cycle. Mm -hmm. There's different weathers and the like. Will we have different outfits with cloaks and hoods? Shadow save? No. Shadow savage? Well, actually, let me kill this guy real quick, and I can demonstrate a little bit of how the equipment works, or what we call augments. So first of all, let him do his shot. I want to see if, um... Well, that was actually really cool. 
but not what I was expecting. So it's on easy, so he's going to be a little bit nicer to me right now. Boop! Uh, Harry? Yeah? What do you... I see you just said my name with a question mark. Alright, let me just get him with it. Show that ability off again so we can cut some dudes in half. Caragors are a significantly new, like, okay. Alright, you know what? Hold on. I gotta just pay attention. Even on easy mode, I gotta be careful with this. Because, so I do have last chances, you guys can see in the bottom left of the screen. But, I on purpose do not have any of the followers available. And, uh,. I do not want to be in a position where I get killed by a bunch of these guys. <laughs> Just using the shield smash for the moment. Clear him. Just a lot of fun. It's also really good because it allows you to set up for attacks as opponents are jumping into you. Oh, come on. Does the mercenary system work? Totally does, Jonathan. Is there a stamina bar? No. Mm, can you adapt to the shield charge? No, actually. Shield charge is like the glaive, where there isn't an adapt mechanic to it. So it's something. And now that was a perfect example of a quick shield protection. It's one thing that I highly recommend as players get into this. You guys will be using it a lot, especially on the higher difficulties. Because it just so well sets up for some sweet moves and still gives you might. Plus, it's hilarious. There we go. Cool. So, let's talk about this real quick. This is an augment, okay? We'll be telling you guys more about augments as we go. We'll be showing you guys more augments as we go. And you can also see that it sells for coin. Coin is an in-game currency. It's how you guys will get some mercenaries. We'll talk about that later. This allows me to take 5% less damage. Now, real quick, just to make sure something doesn't show up that's not supposed to. Cool. So we'll be going through that significantly more next stream. We'll be actually running around and fighting in an area right over here. And, uh, ouch. And we'll be showing off some of the shield bash stuff. Looks, o looks OP. Well, it's on easy mode. So it's gonna be pretty powerful right now. Um, so let's, uh, let's take a moment to answer questions while I uh, send off any creatures that choose to come this way. Was he this strong in the normal campaign? Um, no, because he didn't have this. This gauntlet is basically what turns Baranor into a beast potentially as powerful as Eltariel or... Um, uh, I can't believe I forgot the Bright Lord's name, <laughs> Dalian. Will there be more tribes, Marty Fett? No. Uh, unless you consider the mercenary race to be a tribe, because that's significantly bigger. <laughs> Is there a rage for being dazed? There can. A character was persistent. Why can Tor Torvin ride characters but Baronor can't? It had to do with that particular level in the game. Um, Torvin had had the chance to raise these guys. Uh... Baronor has not had the chance to raise any of these Karagors. You forget the Bright Lord's name? Yes, I do. Thank you. Will human mercenaries pop up in the normal game? Right now? No. I don't have uh, any knowledge of any plans or changes on that in the future either. Uh, Thanes, I actually just mentioned that, that the answer is no, and I don't know if that will change. I'm not, I don't think so, though. Sieges? Those do exist. We'll talk about those later. Is so the Enraged by Humans feature? I think so. I don't know. I actually forget. Will there be Forthog? I haven't seen him. I actually don't know. How long is the DLC? It depends on you. Uh, remember, it's meant to be played multiple times, though. Um, and we'll show you more about how that works in the upcoming, um, uh, t -t -t upcoming stream. Specifically, not next week. I think it's in three weeks from now, which is, uh, like, the stream just before launch, I believe, is the one where we, we start going through death and talking about that. Can you use the shield bash constantly for fast travel? You can, it is not faster. Will you still be attacked by drakes? Yes, actually. Um, there was one earlier when I was walking over here. What do you what do you use to get around Horseshoe? <laughs> what? Can Baranor go to other regions? 
Uh, there will be a Baranor skin you can wear. It's actually very cool looking to see him. Um, but uh, he won't be going around like this. You won't be seeing little left bumpers and the like. Do augment change the look of the equipment? Um, it won't change it in the same way that Shadow of War did, but we'll talk about that later. Can Torvin save you? I haven't seen that, no. Uh, are there Graugs? Yes, yeah, Abella. There are Graugs. They are terrifying. Um, uh, they can kill you in single hits at times. Can we play as Talion, Talion here? I think we talk about that in the future. Okay. But we're getting that question a lot recently. Hmm. How much can I tell you about the skill tree? You reminded me about a thing. So the upgrade that we just picked up, uh, this is the one that we found here. So these are meta upgrades. Basically, you can get a bunch of them, and if you die in the game, you will keep all those upgrades, so you don't have to go find them again. Uh, that's something that will save you a little bit extra stuff, and also if you're trying to do a different run, you can basically find all the gear first and then do a run, and it will save. Rick Jarvis, this is your answer to all your questions. I just gave an answer about how this spitty blade thing was a meta thing that you use multiple times. Can you show us the map? Not today. Elemental Dregs? No. Well, we see a target like in the Blade of Glider, we saw Talion. No story, it's a beat for that. Not gonna say anything. Will there be new things for the normal game? Yes. Yes, there will be. Can you play as Kratos? I heard that game got a 94 Metacritic score. Wow. I really can't wait to learn more about it. There's a Graug in the background? Really? <laughs> I see a Karagor. Are there followers? Yes. How big is the map compared to other regions? You know, it's hard to say because of the shape of the map is different. Um, also, uh, you, you move slower. That's another thing, too. So it's like, that's another experience about the map. Since you move slower because you don't ride anything, you don't fly on drakes, you don't ride caragors, it, it's hard to, like, it feels different, too. Can we talk about July? Uh, not until we get closer. That, this looks very canyony. It is. I'm in a canyon. How big is the update? Uh, this one? Big. Well, can Karagor kill 10 Karagor... Can, God, can Baronor kill 10 Karagors with one shield bash? Don't see why not. No shadow strikes. That's correct. There's, there's no, no way to do it. Will the human mechanic be in the main game right now? Uh, no. There is no plans for that. Anything to replace Elven Agility? Uh, actually, when you ran, hit the ground, you can actually get a little bit of a speed boost, but you climb using um, a thing that you can hear, that a thing that keeps popping up. So you actually climb relatively quickly. No horse riding, no. Can you shadow dash with the whip grab? There's a way to use the whip in a certain way that you might find dashing is useful. Can you get gear or just augments? So augments increase the power of what you're doing and uh you can also get upgrades from numenorians which is so augments we'll talk more about next stream the upgrades are the things that we'll be using throughout every playthrough that you like unless you want to restart your save kind of thing get over here <laughs> Hello. any summons uh if you consider follower summons summoners summons yes then yeah uh but not like caragors can we grapple into enemies we'll bear it or beat the gerudo uh, if only we had that song in this game. Can we upgrade our gear augments? Rick Jarvis, we'll get onto that. So I'm starting to see more people asking about the augments and stuff. So I'm going to like direct us back to the shield again, specifically to this, uh, because I don't want to answer those questions yet, because we'll answer them next time. So with that, um, it looks like though we've cut... What about any specific questions related to, <laughs> to Sneaky Baranor? And then... Um, I think uh, we'll be good, because it was supposed to be a short stream to show you guys, like, fighting a couple guys. I can kill a couple more dudes as they come by. Isn't the shield bash too OP? Oh, no, 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 trust us. When you get a chance to start playing it on the difficulty you normally play through, this is on easy. I just did this for demonstrating, and I still almost died, like, five times. Oh, man. The shield is good for deflecting questions and enemies. Oh, <laughs> well done. 
Mm, will there be Easter eggs? Yeah, there's actually one right in the beginning, but I don't know if any of you guys will catch it. I caught it, because I work at Monolith. I can't do the voice right now, because I have um, a cold. You will have bodyguards, followers, can cheat death, yeah. If two Baranor shields bash together at the same time, it's the same thing that happens with two uh, Chuck Norris's doing roundhouse kick. Okay, so it looks like questions are generally about things that I'm not allowed to really talk too much about. Uh, Shadow Savage 666, go ahead and check out on our forums if you want to find out more about July. That has a ton of information about it. So with that, um, cool. Uh, Baranor cannot cheat death, no, because he is human.